this episode was pretty much unique in the sense that it starts it's the start of the final war that is a certainty however you get one interesting flashback into the whole plan to make this final war this sneak attack work on all for one because keep this in mind all for one has a bunch of bs plot that allows them to do bs shit and with them somewhat aware of this they find counters to it how do they trick all for one well they use shinso's quirk ability that has evolved to basically brainwash aoyama and his parents in order to make sure that they can trick all for one that's one number two we have the jackass from class 1b to actually be useful showing a bit of his development sort of but having him finally be more or less useful to our main cast and being more of an assistance this time instead of a hindrance has his copy ability essentially worked because it allowed the heroes to come in and a sneak attack and then with their time of technology and preparation they were able to capture all the forces they needed they wanted to divide and they basically did the divide and counter and conquer route with the main players being bakugo's group in ua facing off against shigaraki we have shoto facing off against dabi toga versus ochako's group we have endeavor and hawks facing off against all for one and lastly, everyone else kind of... There's a f another group that is stationed in the hospital to make sure K Kurugiri doesn't escape. As well as Aoyama's little group there to take on the villains that had stayed right there. However, there is one thing to note. The plan immediately goes to shit for the heroes. Like the villains, their whole thing went to shit. And then... For the heroes, immediately goes to shit whenever Deku is pulled into the wrong battlefield. He's supposed to be with Bakugo, so they can immediately beat Shigaraki, only for Toga to come in and essentially pull him into a different location. Because, here's the thing, his danger sense didn't pick up because of one key factor, Toga. Toga, the way she loves people, is so twisted that it's not even considered like actual malice. And that alone is a problem. And that was a problem, as I pointed out in a previous video. And now it is this where he's in the wrong place. But aside from that, we do have basically Genesis group. They're all kind of freaking out. And yet, Miracle is like Bakugo. They don't give a shit about the plan going to shit. They're going to be the ones to beat Shigaraki no matter what. And I love showing other UA students all showing what they are contributing in this specific fight because you see a bunch of different factors that came into creating this coffin for Shigaraki, his final resting place, allegedly. And we get to see a bunch of action, a bunch of cool shit. And once again, Shigaraki is put in a fucking bind because he can't use his quirk similar to the previous war. And only this time, I mean, he's starting to evolve in a way that it is obviously grotesque because he catches Miracle off guard and completely knocks her off. But yeah, clearly uh, things have gone completely all over the place that we can essentially say that the plan for both sides went to complete other shit. It is a good episode. The parts where they're explaining things, making us the audience aware of what was the plan and then just seeing it in action, seeing it go wrong, and then we get to see some cool-ass fight scenes.